I mean, I'm not saying that I'm good at like I'm perfect at singing or whatever. Or that would be me. Hmm. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you auto tune that, please? All right, our first segment is from nickname Begin Again. Here's my background. I live in the U.S. and I'm graduating from college soon. I've been training in Indian classical music on and off since I was six. I wasn't serious about it till I was about 13 or 14. I started performing right around that time as well. Mm. Wow. Committed to the craft. I realized that while I enjoy singing, I do not like singing or performing Indian classical music. And many times, I felt like I was being disrespectful. Mm. I would always have a panic attack, perform, then feel like absolute shit for days afterwards. At that point, I was doing it for my parents. And I finally talked to them about quitting my lessons. Oh boy, my parents were mad. They basically shut me down, told me that it was my duty to keep up culture and traditions, etc. Wow. This mm-hmm. happened a couple times, and then I was finally able to able to quit when I moved closer to college. I stopped singing altogether because in many cases, I had been using it as a crutch. For instance, I never really felt the need to improve my skills in other activities because I thought I was good at singing. Also, having been told by my parents that singing was the only talent I have, I wanted to prove them wrong, and I did. Sometimes, though, I feel empty. I genuinely enjoyed singing, and it feels like part of me is missing. But I'm nervous to start singing again because I know I won't be as good as I used to be. The other issue is that I really don't know how to start again. I don't think that my vocal skills will ever match someone who, for example, has had vocal training since the age of six. This makes me very insecure. What would you do if you were in my situation? Well, I did not start singing in the age of six. When I was six, I was just picking my nose and eating it. (laughs) There you go. And listen to this Moksori. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm good at, like, I'm perfect at singing or whatever. Or That would be me. Mm. Sing. (laughs) 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 Can you auto tune that, please? Or just take it out. Um, anyways, yeah. I mean, nobody's perfect. Even though they stay, like, starting the age of six. It… What really matters is how you… How much you're passionate about it. And how much you love while you're doing that thing. Right. For me, music and singing was like… Oh, like not even close to me. I wanted to be a swimmer. Mm. And I was like going for like nine, eight to nine years of getting all that like scholarship and everything. And then I was too short. I couldn't do it. But I started um, singing with my mom. Like… 13, 14. And then it just, I just felt really like, what do you say? Um, like something you found was your like, purpose. Yeah, something was like growing in me, like a fucking tree. Come and I was like, oh, it's gonna be a lemon tree. And you say, <laughs> and a lemon came out. Yeah. And then you're like, <laughs> and you're like, that's what What just happened? I don't know. But it's just something that grows in me. And if you're scared to start something, you're going to be scared of everything. You just have to start. That's a simple thing. Just… Boop. Just do it. Just do it. Just what buy Nike. Lose? Just just buy Nike. Just do it. Mm. And it, you you already said you had been singing when you were younger anyway. So it's not like you're just fresh into singing. Mm-hmm. And you said you were pretty good. So like if that underlying talent is there… If you start training, you know… You can for sure get better. And training is not the whole point. Training right. is just one of the points mm-hmm. that you need like while you're going to sing. But… Yeah. What you want to sing is the most important thing. Like what do you want to sing? Like how you want to perform? How do you feel while while you're singing? Do you feel that you're like emotional or do you feel happy? Like all those things combined what is what really matters. All those skills and everything, you can do it like in the age of what? 40 even though you started yeah. and if you're if you're really good, it doesn't matter. So, come on. I agree. Stop putting you in the box and being like scared of everything. Just yeah. like go out and try. You just got to go for it. It's not that scary as you mm-hmm. think. How about you, Levi? I… Well, okay. Well, it's not singing. But you left YouTube Mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. And that was something you started when you were younger. And then you came back to it a little different. I did. So, like, you know, what were your either apprehensions or, like, what made you think, like, you could come back and, like, do it fresh again? It's… It's similar to you because when I started YouTube, I was doing like a type of video that really didn't feel like me. And like you said, you didn't connect with the style of singing that you were doing. And I took a break. Um, I like took two years off. I just lived in college. I like a normal non-internet person life. And I came back and I really made a point to like be honest to myself because otherwise I wasn't going to be able to enjoy it. And 
actually, that's kind of a similar situation. So my advice to you is if you do pursue singing, again, make sure that you're you're really doing what you want to do mm. so that you get that fulfillment and you feel like you're not you're not doing it for your parents anymore. You're doing it for you. You know what I mean? If you're pursuing something, you gotta you gotta pursue it for you, not for someone else. Otherwise, you'll never feel fulfilled. And everything has to just have steps. Yep. It's not gonna be like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be a singer. Oh, I'm so good. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm so pretty. Totally. You need to be stepping, 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 stepping. And then when you achieve, it's gonna be more. Yeah. It's not gonna be wobbling and breaking down yep. easily. Hmm. Wow. Hi guys, it's your girl Jamie. Did you like this episode? I hope you did. And if you want to listen to the whole episode, go on to your pockets and download it and hear me out. And on this YouTube, please subscribe and plus this notification on because I want to see you on time. See you guys with WWJD.